Hey y'all, Dustin Schaefer here, uh, The Keto Pro. We're gonna talk about GI tract health, going into ketosis, elevating your ketone levels, and how it can impact you. Um, sometimes people get constipated, some people get loose stools, and what are the ways that you can solve that? How can you work through that, um, through this journey? Now, keep in mind, I want, I want to be really clear, is that I've been doing this for 20 plus years, studying it longer than that. GI health is messed up. And if you're watching this right now, the, like it's pretty messed up. We unfortunately, the stress, stress is a huge impact on GI health, huge. Food stress, uh, you know, proteins that our body can't handle like gluten and certain dairy proteins, they, those all mess us up. Um, antibiotics can mess us up if you've, if you've had bouts of that throughout your journey. So a lot of things that can really mess up our GI tract. And we got to keep in mind that we, we are, we're, our goal is to create an environment for it to get better. And ketones and being in ketosis will actually help that. We just have to be patient on those changes. So what I want to do is I want to give you a few tips that you can do to help you through this journey so that you can help figure that out. Now, what happens is when people go more towards ketosis, they tend not to get as much constipation anymore, um, which is great. Um, if that's a challenge for you, just keep drinking our product, keep following a healthier regimen that should start to balance itself out. Now, if you're somebody that's getting more loose stools, I want to give you some, some reasons why that is and why you can get better from that. The first reason why people often get loose stools, there's two. One, they drink our product too fast. Um, it has minerals in it. The mineral load is great. It's part of the reason why you get such good experience. At the same time, if you pound it, it can flush through your system really quick. The weight of that, those minerals going through really fast. And we don't want to do that. So drink it slower, 30 to 40 minutes, maybe even longer for some people. Maybe you even start with a half a pack twice a day for some for some people. Now, the other little trick is you can drink it in less water. I know it's kind of weird. So you have a little bit of water and you drink it over 30 minutes, you're kind of sipping on it. That can also help. It'll be a little bit more sweet, but also help. So those are some tips that you start off right away. The second thing is, is, is don't go change everything in your diet. What people don't realize is that they make changes sometimes so quickly or they start Googling the ketogenic diet and they start increasing their fat intake. Well, if your body hasn't been used to the digesting fat and it's, it, can, it can flush through your system um, and we don't want to do that. We don't want to make a lot of dramatic changes. Now, over time, we do want to encourage good healthy fats, but if you change quickly, your bowels are trying to figure all the change out. Let's just start by adding ketones first and then we can start modifying, going low carb um, if you want to go low carb and then slowly start to add things that have more fat in it. But if you start putting fat in your coffee, you start putting more fat in your food, you're basically, your GI tract doesn't know how to go through this journey because for most of its life, it's not done that. So these are some things that are, are, are contributing to why people might have that. Um, now, how do you maybe make some adjustments if you are doing everything the way that your body knows it? Oh, last little tip that people do is they, they maybe go low carb and they start adding a lot more dairy or they start adding a new food to their system that their body doesn't necessarily like, or you've been eating dairy, but now you're eating three times as much. Well, that can actually mess up our GI tract. Maybe your body doesn't tolerate it very well, doesn't like it very well. So just be aware of these changes that you're making can ultimately impact. And a lot of times you maybe don't even realize you're doing it, but just reflect back. Last little tip that I love to give is, is prebiotics, uh, prebiotic fiber. So what I've noticed is that a lot of people don't have good gut flora. Um, they're taking probiotics maybe, and probiotics are great, but prebiotic fibers are really crucial if you want to have long-term health. And the best way to get that is green leafy vegetables or low-carb vegetables, fibrous vegetables. And for some people, we actually are going to have them eat and take their ketones later for a while, maybe take two or three weeks. So you eat your food, you eat your nice, good green leafy vegetables with some protein, and then you take your ketones later. And what it does is it slows down that transit time and those good prebiotic fibers are going to start create better bacteria in your gut and it's gonna help you form your stools the way they should be. And so this is a really, really important function that a lot of people miss. So if you're not eating a lot of good prebiotic fibers, you can supplement it. You can go to your health food store or Amazon. There is prebiotic fibers out there. Um, and you're going to have to start increasing that. And the best way to do it, I think, is through using you know high, high quality, low carb uh, vegetables that are fibrous. Um, most of the low carb ones are going to do well for you. And start getting a better bacteria in your gut. Start using ketones. Because we, what we know for a fact is elevating your ketone levels is going to change your life. It's going to help your gut get healthier. We've watched this now people's gut GI tract continues to get healthier but as you're making these transitions and changes try not to do do anything too drastic or too quickly and we know that the brain health the anti-aging the long long uh long-term benefits are extraordinary so some of you that have some gi stuff going on are gonna have to be more patient take your time and find the path that's going to work for you uh, and keep elevating those ketone levels without changing the diet really fast because that often messes people up thanks y'all